What a beautiful morning out here. I am back in Columbus, Ohio, looking for a lake that I fished three years ago, back in 2014. I found it, the Hidden Lake. It's beautiful. Man, it feels strange being back out here. It's literally been over three years since I fished around Columbus, Ohio. And back in the day, there were a lot less of you guys. Maybe 2,000, maybe 2,500. But uh, today, I've got my MTB Pro Box right here, and we're gonna try to make something special happen. Starting off the box, we've got a Booyah Bass Pop. Another topwater, the Lucky Craft Sammy. A Strike King Pro Model Crankbait. A pack of Smart Baits Smart Bombs. Some uh, Rad Shads by Bruiser Baits. And finally, a pack of standout advanced drop shot hooks. Well, since it's early morning, let's go ahead and see if we can't get a, a little topwater bite going. We're going to start things off with a with the Boss Pop popper right here from Booyah. Looks like it's in a lavender shad pattern. Nice translucent color, big sharp hooks, nice feathered tail. Feeling pretty good about this bait. There's one. Third cast. Oh, it's a little dude. Well, it's right where he's supposed to be. Actually, I think this might be my first mystery tackle box topwater bass of the year. Yeah, these trebles got him good. Well, the bass here aren't as big as I remember, but it's a start. There should be another one right over here. There's a, uh, looks like there's a little tiny creek that feeds in. And I think there's been a good amount of rain in Ohio considering the color of the lake and uh, how high the water is. There's another one. Well, this one's slightly bigger, but I don't think it's a uh, hashtag MTB keeper. Not fighting much. Ooh. Oh, 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 I was gonna measure him. Well, there he goes. Another one on the popper. I like to uh, fish this guy. You wanna make a precision cast because you don't really cover a lot of water with the popper. So right there, I was making a cast to his uh, brush paw right here. Uh-oh. Oh, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's take a mulligan on that. Bait's not tangled. Anyways, you want to make a precision cast with the popper, and I was fishing this uh, brush paw right here. So make a nice tight cast to the cover, let the uh, bait settle once it hits the water. Once the ripples uh, fade out a little bit, pop it once, pause it, pop it again, give it another pause, and uh, I got the bait tangled. So right now I'm showing you guys a terrible demonstration of how to fish a popper. So let's go ahead and go back to the uh, where that inflow, where that outflow was. Oh, let's try this again. Making precision cast. That's right where I caught that first fish. And when the bait hits the water, let the ripple settle and uh, give the bait a nice, good pop. You want a louder pop in uh, murkier water or windier conditions. But uh, if it's clear water or you know nice sunny conditions, you might want a more subtle pop like that. Oh, there's one on right there. Looks like that guy wanted a subtle pop. Definitely got the quantity in this pond. This one's another dink. But the popper is very good for, uh, for working a particular area. You can kind of, you can keep the bait in one spot for almost indefinitely. There's another little guy on the popper. What the hell was that? Holy shit. Oh shit. I'm, I'm on a fing ant mound. Damn, something's freaking biting me all over the place. What the hell? Oh shit. Where the hell is the ant mound coming from? Ah, they're on me still. 
All right, well, I guess I gotta make a small move here. Oh, that'll wake you up more than any coffee in the morning. Not that I drink coffee, but. <sighs> Damn, they're still on me. Freaking ant. Oh, sh they're all over me. Oh my God, they're all over my feet. All right, here we go, guys. Sometimes you gotta take drastic measures. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh. What the heck, dude? Oh. All right, back to fishing. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen in the uh, in the great outdoors. Damn, now I'm all hyped up after that. I don't have the patience for popper anymore, guys. Not after that ant, ant attack. We're gonna have to uh, switch it up now to something where I can cover some water. I'm feeling too antsy now. No pun intended. We're gonna pull out the, the old Lucky Craft Sammy in a, oh, I've never seen this color before. I've used a lot of, a lot of Lucky Craft baits, but never in this particular color. This is a, another really natural color. So for this popper and this uh, spooked style bait, if I was fishing clear water, this would be absolutely perfect. But uh, considering it still has the rattles, so even if I'm fishing dingier water, it'll still be fine. And I'm using a snap because I'm a little bit lazy, but I also feel like it gives the bait a little bit better action, which will uh, help make a little more commotion in this dingier water. But the uh, one thing I like about the Sammy compared to other top waters, if you can see right there, it floats with the nose up. That means part of the bait is uh, in the water which makes it uh, easier for a bass to strike it as opposed to uh, most topwater baits that lay horizontal in the water like that. So this is a Sammy. This is most topwater baits. And uh, having a unique action is always a good advantage in bass fishing. So we're gonna go ahead and give the Sammy a try. I'm gonna cover some water now and see if I can find one of those uh, MTB keepers or 20 plus inches or five plus pounders. Oh my gosh! First cast! First cast! That was a nice blow up. Oh my, this guy isn't even that big. I was still... Dude, this guy exploded on it. Whew. Oh, that'll get it. That'll get you amped up even though he's not big. Let's go and get a measurement on this guy. On the MTB ruler right here. So I think what you do... Just, oh, here. Oh, no, no. You take your bass little skinny guy tail to yep that is gonna be a just about a 13 and a half inch right there and we need 14 inches for a bass so this little guy you ain't gonna cut it I have a good feeling about the spook let this guy go hmm ah huh, nothing well, I guess it's time to uh, start covering some water, which is really where this bait shines anyways. So, let's make a move. Ah. Well, that's not good. I remember the last time I was here, I had to jump across this, uh, this little creek right here, but I don't remember it being this freaking long. Right here is probably about six feet. Let's go ahead and walk a little bit farther down and see if I can find a more narrow, narrow gap across. And this is even, this looks going to be about seven feet. Well, that's not good. I don't know if the lake changed or what, but it is not getting any more narrow as I look farther down. Holy bejizo. Jeez, man. Damn. There's no way I'm gonna make it across. How deep is it? Oh my God, it's deep. It's real deep. It's very deep. I have to get across. No question I have to get across. There's no other option, guys. The only way I'm getting across this six foot gap, maybe longer, is if I jump. So I took out my phone, took out my cell phone, took off the chest cam. Step one, we gotta get the backpack over there. 
I've been training for the Olympics for the uh, decathlon, and uh, I believe one of them is a shot put. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah, please make it over. My GoPro's in here. GoPro and phone are in here. I'm a little nervous. Let me, let me get a little warm up here. Okay, I'll just throw it. Straight throw. Here we go, guys. Oh, make it! Oh my god. <sighs> it made it by literally one foot to spare. And I was throwing it. I didn't throw it as hard as I could, but I threw it pretty hard. Fishing rod should not be a problem. Oh! Ah. That's my landing platform. Damn, I'm stupid. All right, well, here goes nothing, guys. If I make it over, I'm leaving the camera here. I'll come back for it later. Switch to a purely GoPro. I'm gonna back up, go for the running start, and we're just gonna do it. One warm up, then I'm doing it. No, here, here, all right. So right here's where I jump off, leap. Oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. I mean, it's definitely not impossible, but the key right here is I'm going to need a perfect leap off my right foot right here. If I go too far, I'm going to land face first in the water. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> well, back to the GoPro, I did not make the jump. One, I didn't have enough speed. Two, I didn't have a good jump off the platform. And three, this distance was just uh, way too far to uh, jump across. But I'm on the other side now, got my gear, catch some more fish. Oh, here's another little creek, but this one, it's not going to be nearly as hard to get across. Freaking prickly. Ow. Damn, what the hell is with all these weeds? Ow. Look at all these little spines on this guy. Oh my gosh. I do not remember this place being so overgrown. Ouch. Fudge. Oh. This better be worth it. I better find a freaking 10 pounder over here with all the poison ivy I've walked through. Jeez. Oh, here we go. All right. Uh, now we're back in business, guys. Whew. Oh, damn. My legs are burning now. What is that thing called? What's that weed called where you go through it, your legs freaking burn like crazy? Ah, damn. It's freaking burning. Ah. Nettle weed. I think it's called nettle weed. Oh, I just walked through so much nettle weed right there. Whew. God. Freaking burns. Ah. Ooh. For my first time back in Columbus, this is uh, not the best fishing experience so far. There's one. Oh, another little dude. Whew. I'll still get in action. Sooner or later, I know it. There's going to be a freaking monster that blows up on my spooker or whatever I'm using. Oh, there he is in all his glory. Probably about 10 ounces or so, maybe 9. See you, buddy. All right, enough of the dinks. Time to switch out the bait. I'm done with top water for now. Let's go ahead and try one of these plastics. The Senko or the Fluke style bait. I'm going to go ahead and try the Fluke next. I'm gonna fish it really, really tight to the uh, to the bank because with the way the clarity of the water is, I'm thinking that uh, some of the bigger fish might be hugging really tight to some of the uh, some of this vegetation and stuff right along the edges. So we'll go ahead and uh, give this a shot and see if we can catch our first MTB keeper. Nice looking bait, but for me, what uh, makes or breaks a good fluke is the sink rate in the water. I want one that sinks fast enough so that I don't have to add any extra weight and 
This bait appears to have a very, very good sink rate, which means it's uh, full of salt, it's gonna have a soft body, and uh, gonna have better action. We'll see if it catches any big fish. Oh, that was a nice hit. Oh, he's got it. Oh, the little dink. Oh my gosh, that dinks are non-stop. An aggressive little hit though. Cookie cutter. Huh, I'm thinking right now guys. One thing I know that almost never fails is a Senko style bait. So, that's exactly what we're gonna put on next. The old smart bait, color, color changes everything. Color changing baits, huh? Color change at the top of the bait, color change in the bottom of the bait. Oh, that's kind of interesting. This is a, uh, it has like three or four different colors in this, uh, this plastic. It's pretty cool. It actually might help the uh, bass hone in on it a little better in these, uh, in these conditions. Here it is, a classic. Senko on a uh, wacky rig hook, a little weed guard on here. Huh. The Senko is kind of floating, it's sinking extremely slow, which is uh, not ideal. All right, one minor adjustment, then we'll be good to go. Here we go. Let's check it out. So hopefully, the action will be a lot, a lot better now. The flick shake head. Yep. Oh yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see that. It had no action before, and with the flick shake head, look at it as it sinks down. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a really, really nice shimmy. Awesome, that's beautiful. All right, if this doesn't catch a giant, or at least an MTB keeper, I don't know what will. Man, it is a sad day when you can't even get one bite on the, the old Senko. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and throw the kitchen sink at him. Wow. This bite has completely shut down. Not even a nibble for the last hour and a half. Oh my gosh. Whew. Well, today was an interesting day. And I still need to get back to the other side. Throw my stuff over. Huh. You know what? I'm leaving the GoPro on. I'm making it. I'm not getting wet. Screw this. Get the backpack across first though. Backpack, go! Oh shoot, and land on my rod. I right, should be fine though. All right. All right guys, GoPro is on. I'm making this jump. I will make this jump. I need a full running start. Let's see, I can go up to here. All right, screw it. You know, I'm just gonna do it. Screw this. First attempt. Let's go. Whoa. 